surprise, surprise. Guess who's back at Six Flags St. Louis? Weather today is like perfect, actually. It's gonna be like high of 73 all day. And I've seen quite a few school groups here today, so not the greatest thing, but oh well. As long as I have some fun there, which is what I'm here for, obviously. Otherwise, why would I be right here riding coaches and stuff like that? As long as I'm here to have fun and I enjoy myself, that's all that matters. And I'm definitely spending a lot of time with my uh, new camera today, getting some uh, shots of the rides, because this lighting is like perfect. So this is just awesome. Good day to be here. Uh, got 11 to 7 today, and uh, once uh, we get let in, it's go time. <laughs> After my usual three and a half minute trek up here, I am first in line for Screaming Eagle as usual. But they're not open yet, obviously, as the uh, entrance side's in front of it. So many bugs flying all over me, and uh, I saw Red Train go over this hill. I'm actually coming to the brakes right now. Don't know if you guys saw that or not, but Red Train's came out of the brakes. And I saw they were also running Blue Train too. So looks like we got two train ops on Eagle today. Boss, you gotta see the guy. Purple Train over there on the mid course. And I think Yellow Train is somewhere. Probably the same spot, I guess. Looks like we got a little bit of time left before Eagle opens. And I really hope I can get a Zen ride on because I haven't done a Zen ride on this since uh, second day of opening weekend. So it's been a while since I've gotten a Zen ride on this. And I'm only at one. So. Hopefully I get another Zen ride today, but who knows? It really all depends on where a lot of these people go first, because there could be a lot of them coming up to Eagle right now, for all I know. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens once the ride opens, which seems like it'll be a little, because I think they got safety riders now. So we'll probably be a little bit so. Zen ride on Scram and Eagle acquired. Second Zen ride of the year. First Zen ride is a blue train, actually, for the year, because my Zen ride back in April was in the red train. And it was running a lot slower than I remembered it from last week, but it was still nothing to complain about. Overall, it was pretty solid. And now I'm going to go down to the boss and I only saw them running Purple Train. I don't know if I've already said that or not, but if I have, then whatever, I said again, but I have not seen them run Yellow Train yet, and that's the other train they would be running. And maybe I just have missed it, or maybe they're actually only running Purple for now, but all I know is I have not seen Yellow Train run yet, so I'm gonna go down to the boss and take a look at that and see if, uh, what did you call it, uh, Yellow Train is running. Otherwise, I'm gonna do this thing now because they'll be on one train ops, and this thing on one train ops is not good, so let's go down to the boss and see how it's running today. Looks like we're not quite open yet here either. I hear them testing it, and I did see Yellow Train run, so they do have two trains going, I just might have not seen Yellow run yet. And I'm not sure if someone else is coming down to open the line or not, but if there is, at least I'll be first one of the day on this one. And you can see Purple Train going there, I don't know if you guys saw it, but yeah, it looks like they're testing right now. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer before the boss comes to life, I guess, for, for the day. Although it is already technically running, so I guess it already has come to life, but you guys know what I mean. So hopefully this one runs good. Uh, Purple Train's actually, oh wow, let's just fly it and it's gonna come. Right on the last turn, I've got to see it, but it goes. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, looks like it's fine doing quite well today, but I'll find out for myself once I actually get on here, and hopefully in a few minutes. Nothing's really changed on Rookie Racer, just a big pile of dirt from where the go-karts were. And I don't think anything else is over there any different, I guess. I'll take a close look when I get off the boss here, because we are open now. That was an awesome ride there on the boss. A little bit rougher than last week, but it's still nothing to complain about. And as for Rookie Racer, it looks like, I don't know if this was like this last time I was here. I don't know, I haven't really investigated this, but all over here and whatnot looks pretty much the same, and I think, I don't know, but I don't know what this will be for. I think it's a station, actually. I don't know, I'm just, I'm making a wild shot in the dark here. Comment below what you guys think that could be for with this ride, whether it be the station or something else. Kiosk, maybe? My guess is the kiosk will be on there somewhere. And the station, actually, I don't know what the station will be. It could be either or over there or over there. I can't see it being either one. So. I don't know, comment below about what you guys think could happen with Rookie Racer, where those station points will be and whatnot. Now I'm gonna head down towards Justice League and Mr. Freeze, even though I could ride Boss again since so there's a little walk-on, but I'm gonna get to Justice League sooner today, so let's uh, go down them. But first of all, I gotta watch Freeze. See if it rolls back. That's got it. No roll out to here, folks.
on my way to Justice League now after getting some shots of Boss, which I did say I was going to spend a lot of time getting footage today. And while we're on the topic of Justice League, I should mention that this might be my last visit to this park for a while because I don't know if I'll be going next week. And I think there was supposed to be, there was supposed to be the Power Hours event uh, next to some point Friday, but it got canceled for some reason. So I don't know what's going to do about that. But uh, if I don't come next weekend, then I won't be able to for probably about another month or so because uh, I'm going to Dollywood in a couple weeks. So I'll be getting there. And then also after that, I'll be doing my uh, East Coast trip, which I don't know if I've uh, announced the dates for that yet or not or what parks I'm doing. But in case I haven't announced what parks I'm doing, I'm doing, in no particular order, Kings Island, Kennywood, Hershey Park, Knobles, Dorney Park, and Six Flags Great Adventure all on that trip. So I'm going to be getting on some heavily anticipated rides for me like uh, King Naka, which is right, I'm the most excited to get on on the trip. Uh, Wildcat's Revenge, which was actually recently announced to be opening on June 2nd. I didn't think I would get to ride that, so I'll be getting on that. And then hopefully El Toro, which, uh, I don't know about El Toro being open or not. But on top of that, I also got like Storm Runner and several other Hershey Park coasters that I'm excited for. Besides Wildcat's Revenge, I'm not excited for Sky Rush because those restraints terrify me. So, not exactly excited about Sky Rush, but there's a lot of other rides that time for on the trip. Seal Force Yacht holds with Mamba. So, do some good stuff, Phoenix. So, since I will not be able to come back to this park for a while, I will probably be out of whack with this Justice League. I will be running the One of Great Adventure, which I already said in a previous vlog. But I am at 1,069 max scores right now, and I would like to get up to 1,100 before my uh, trips in June. Now, if I don't get it today, which I'm at, I'm 1,069, I'm gonna get to 1,085 by the end of today. So I feel like that's 16. That's totally doable. So let's uh, get a few rides on this, and then if I don't hit uh, today. Which I put right back to get it next time. So let's get on this thing and see how I do. That was the first time I made a critical mistake in the first screen in a long time. I missed the jetpack henchman, and that's how I usually get so high in the first screen. My blast is decided to stop responding only for that instance, and then it flew away, and I'm like, oh, you little. So I'm honestly kind of surprised I got him. I still easily got a four screen because I'm just back at the rest of the ride. Let's hope that doesn't happen again this time. It was blue green of car five that did that. So let's hope I get better luck this time. Got blue green blaster of uh, car six this time, and definitely wasn't the best ride either. Like I would say it was even rougher than the first one because uh, my first one, uh, I just like I completely had a blaster error and I couldn't really do anything about that. Superman's playing, pretty cool. But this one was even more problematic because in the second and third screen, the blue green blaster would only shoot straight forward, and the targets I needed to shoot for the most part were to the side. So I'd uh, break out some extra strategies that I'd recently found out about. At least for the second screen, I recently found an extra strategy. And uh, I know I was going to make a video about how I max out Justice League, but I'll save that for after I ride the one a great adventure in about a month. So let's go ride Mr. Freeze now because I've already done twice on Justice League and then I did one on uh, Boss and Screaming Eagle. So let's see how Mr. Freeze runs because I thought Eagle and Boss were running pretty solid. So let's see what Freeze is like today. I'm the shakiest ride I've had on this thing in a while. It honestly gave me vibes of a uh, Flight of Fear at King's Island with how shaky it was running. That being said, Mr. Freeze is still way smoother than Flight of Fear. I mean, Flight of Fear, that thing is not smooth like at all, really. I didn't think it was that good. Like, definitely Boss and Eagle for today were better than this thing. I might come back later. I mean, if they open side A, though, I'll probably be back here. And if I'm on the train, let's see what happens here. I wonder if this one roll back, but... And here it comes. Yep, that's over. So, uh, it was running decently well, I guess, but I've seen it run way better. 
I think my rides earlier in the season were way better. And uh, yeah, I think I think Eagle is definitely never seen the park so much with this. And if they open Saturday, I'll come back here and get another ride. But I'm gonna go over and ride just to sleep one more time, one more try score, and then go over to American Thunder. I think I might try and get on every coaster in the park today. So let's uh, head towards American Thunder and do I do just to sleep once more. taking some shots with my camera than I would have liked to but because Mother Nature was not cooperating making the shot of Boston's first shot harder to get it took longer than needed so now I'm going to file it right just to sleep I think twice more and then go over to American Thunder and I said I was going to try and ride every customer today I might do it but I don't know if I will or not I, mean, I haven't decided yet so as the day goes on I'll figure out what I want to do but now let's try this a few more times that ride right there was nothing to be ashamed of I uh, maxed it, I think it was like, yeah, towards the start of the third screen, so not bad. And uh, I'm going to do it one more time because I was going to do it twice more. And uh, in the first screen, it looked like there was a Jeffrey Henchman already lying down there with the start, so I'm wondering what's up with that. If that's the case, I'm going to exploit it and see if I can get a first screen max. So let's go find out if that was legit or if that was just so much how we got in the knock immediately. Let's go find out.
running great today. I don't know which is running the best out of all of them, whether it's Boss, American Thunder, or Screaming Eagle. All three of them were definitely better than Mr. Freeze, but I can't tell what's the best. I mean, I think I need to go get another round of the Boss to judge that, so I'm gonna head up that direction in a little bit. Plus, I've only done it once as of now for today, and I, I usually ride it both the time, so. Let's head up that direction and take another lap on it. Maybe get my first ever ride on Purple Train since 2021, because I saw they were actually loading guests into it now. I can never say no to a dual wheel. There was a group of six that was gonna get on after a group of two. And there was a group of two that got in the front. And I could have gone in the front, but then I would have not have been able to dual wheel. And since they uh, didn't let anybody else on, well, there was a group of six, obviously. It was me in the very back by myself and then two people up front. So I took the back row to get a dual wheel in. Good thing I did that because I pretty much got top score today all by myself. I got like, what, one point? Uh, I think it was like somewhere around 1.5 to 1.6 or 1.79, somewhere around there. And it was just nice. So nothing to complain about there. Always good to dual wheels every now and then when you get the chance. Now I'm gonna go up and ride the boss again because I've only done that once today. And uh, Ellis, he told me he's gonna be here a little bit. And uh, unfortunately, I rides by myself, which or I'm not here with Ryan today. So that's why you haven't really been seeing him in the vlog or anything. But Ellis will still be here. So he and I are gonna meet up and ride some stuff in just a little bit once he gets here.
Brandon to Ellis, and he and I did boss ones and then two rides on Justice League. Ellis was darn close to maxing on uh, both rides, actually. He got, I think what was his, like, his average, it was like 870 something thousand, it was like 873 or something, I forgot what it was. On my second ride just now, he got 969,000, I think it was. So he was really close to the second ride, even more so. He's gonna ride Mr. Freeze now. I was probably gonna ride Colossus and get some shots from up there, because I was gonna do that. Now's a good time to do it with the nice we have, so. Let's see if uh, we can get some good shots up there. Maybe I'll be able to catch Ellis on the ride. Who knows? It really depends on the dispatches of Freeze and whatnot. And how long line for clock. Let's give it a shot. Yikes. This will be a bit of a longer line, I'm sure. But we'll I'll have to wait it out, I guess, if we want to ride it. So let's do it. <laughs> just rode Colossus and I was gonna try and film Ellis's train on Mr. Freeze but the timing didn't work out and I think I was filming American Thunder while Ellis was on Freeze so you guys might have heard Freeze running in some of my American Thunder shots but if that's the case then that's just unfortunate. Now I'm gonna get some shots of some of the coasters in the back park with Boomerang which you can kind of see going over there 
as well as like River King Lion Train and maybe Screaming as well before working my way down towards Batman and Ninja and getting some shots of those and then somewhere around that time it might be time to maybe start Marathon and Justice League depending on how much I shoot and for how long I shoot for so let's get some shots of these rides starting with uh, I guess uh, Boomerang and Screaming Eagle.
down towards Batman and Ninja to get some shots of those. And I just spent upwards of about 45 minutes to an hour over by Boomerang and Scream Eagle getting shots of both of those. Once I'm done getting some shots of Batman and Ninja, I'm gonna start marathoning just to till closing. So we don't have too much time to get uh, as many shots of Batman or Ninja, I guess you could say, but I've got to move fast. So let's head down that direction right now. Ninja got stuck in a hotel. Wonder what happened there. This wall is not usually this far back, I guess you could say. I'm used to seeing it right around here somewhere, but they extended it downwards a little bit. I ain't complaining, because you get this cool view of Batman, which I've never seen before. This view of the loop in the first pool looks absolutely insane. And that turn over there looks awesome. Wow. Overall, I mean, I have no complaints about this wall being moved. Now, if only they removed the rest of the side. I don't know what's back in there. It's kind of hard to see, but... Seems like something for Pride Fest. I wish they would remove this whole thing entirely if they're not using it, because this will open some cool views of Batman. I'm going to start the marathon a little bit early today, because I haven't ran it much today. And I'm gonna try and get to 1100 sooner rather than later. So I feel like I'm the more rides I do now, the closer I'll get to it tonight, and then the faster I'll be able to hit 1100 next time. Well, that was something. The vehicle I was in, it pretty much went straight forward the entire time. Now, it did stop every now and then, which is nice, like how it should. And I was actually aligned perfectly with what I was shooting at for the most part. And I keep getting blue green in car six, unfortunately. So I wasn't able to shoot the technical panels in the second screen or the crayons in the third screen, unfortunately. But I still was able to nail everything else with these. So I feel like that ride was like a bittersweet. It was like good. I mean, I still maxed it. So obviously it was good, but, not, but definitely not ideal for me. Anyway, let's keep going. See how many more we can get for the end of the night. The park is now close for the day, and I had a really good, albeit very tiring, marathon and my night on Justice League. I got 17 on Justice League today, as well as uh, two on Boss, and one on American Thunder, Colossus, Mr. Freeze, and Screaming. Love my ride count. And we got Ellis here. Wanna we'll say hi? Hey! So what did you get on today, or do you not know? I, uh, I didn't get on too much today since I got here a little late, but I got one on Boss, one on Freeze, and I All lost track Justice of Justice League, yeah. but I did max it twice on Justice League today. Nice. And uh, I think one of the rides we had towards the end of the marathon, you and I almost maxed in the same ride. I think you were just like barely missing like 983 you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, on one of the rides I had, one of the screens froze, but yeah. thankfully I was still able to max it out twice today. So yeah, that's unfortunate. I have five maxes total uh, now. Can I get on the news? Uh, this is not the news, but this is the ending of a vlog. You guys say hi. What's up? You guys have a good day today? Oh, yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. What's your favorite ride? You have one? Batman. Batman, that's always a good ride. Never a bad time on that. This is my girlfriend. Alright, happy vlog. If you want to say hi, that's fine. Nice. Anyways, so, as uh, we were saying, uh, where were we at? Oh, yeah. 
you maxed out Justice League twice today. Yes, I did. And you actually were here on Sunday. And, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say, but, uh, wait, you did max it out that day, and I never knew about it. Yes, I maxed now. it out. I, the thing was, I went to Six Flags on Mother's Day a little bit later that day. I got some few rides in Justice League, and I was still able to max it out even before I left early. Yeah, I left early that day as well, so you're at, uh, five now. Yes, I am. Not, not bad. Yep. And uh, you maxed it uh, last two rides tonight, or was there a ride between where you did not max it? Yep, yep. So it was back to back. Yeah, this is the second time where I maxed it at least two times in a single day. Nice. After the first time where I, I mean, I didn't see you max it the very first time, but still that was awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah. So hopefully day I'll day. keep this up, so. Yep. And I'll take, I mean, a lot of practice. That's, that's all it requires, really. Yeah, so, I agree. <laughs> yep. Anyway, that was just overall, we had a really good day at the park, and since that's the end of the vlog, before I click off this video, please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And be sure to comment about what you enjoyed about this video and what else you think could be improved upon. And be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turning the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take when I visit the park, so be sure to check that out as well via the link in the description. This might be the last vlog you'll be seeing from my home park for a while, and Tomorrow, which is the day after I'm recording this, I will be doing Aries Alpine Coaster with Ryan. So you'll get to get my initial thoughts on the first new credit I'll be writing this year. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.